The F-35's weapons and sensors will detect or destroy launched ICBMs during the initial upgrade phase. The Pentagon is working with industry to explore the possibility that a bomb, missile, or laser-armed F-35 could destroy a nuclear-armed intercontinental ballistic missile (ICBM) targeting the U.S., potentially bringing a new dimension to existing defenses. The concept, according to industry and Pentagon developers, is to use the F-35's weapons and sensors to detect or destroy a launched ICBM during the initial boost phase of its upward flight towards the confines of Earth's atmosphere. The F-35 could use a kinetic solution in which it fires and destroys a launched ICBM, or a sensor solution in which it signals missile defense systems. While Pentagon F-35 officials stress the current F-35 program is focused on short-term efforts such as delivering software upgrades to the aircraft, there is a growing consensus that exploring the F-35's nuclear missile defense is something with great potential. Preliminary conversations and conceptual work is already underway. The prospect of using the F-35 for this purpose introduces a range of defense possibilities that are not yet part of the Pentagon's missile defense arsenal. For example, the F-35 can fire bombs or air-to-ground missiles to blow up an ICBM or even use lasers and electronic warfare to incinerate, jam, or disable the flight trajectory of an attacking ICBM. If the ICBM's guidance system, or propulsion mechanism is compromised, the ICBM may be ejected, heading towards the sea or an uninhabited area where damage is unlikely. Also, a group of F-35s could potentially form a sort of networked relay system using the Multifunction Advanced Data Link MADL, to transmit threat information across a fleet of aircraft in a position to alert US missile defense systems. This MADL data link, which allows a group of F-35s to all see the same thing in real time while on a mission, potentially extends the range of systems that can find or detect enemy ICBMs. It goes without saying that the earlier combatant commanders and decision makers study an attacking ICBM, the more time they have to consider and implement countermeasures or launch a counterattack. Many of the ICBM launch points developed by potential adversaries are nested deep inland and heavily defended by air defenses, making them more difficult to reach by certain weapons and strike assets. Also, the 2014 Congressional Report, US-China Economic and Security Review, contains a 70-page chapter on China's military modernization. Among its many findings, the report specifically cited Chinese mobile ICBM launches with as many as 10 re-entry vehicles in some cases. These weapons, of course, present a significant new threat. The more re-entry vehicles approach the target, the more difficult the defense will be. With this in mind, the F-35 might bring the ability to use stealth speed, and maneuverability to operate over heavily fortified inland areas to find, pursue, and destroy mobile launchers. The F-35 the best chance of having the desired missile defense impact. Hitting an ICBM attack during the final, or terminal phase will present a challenge due to the number of re-entry vehicles. All of this raises the question of whether the F-35 can be part of an integrated system capable of detecting and disabling enemy ICBMs as they travel through space. Difficult as it may be, the F-35 might one day use GPS or air-mounted sensors to interact with satellites, which could fire lasers or some sort of interceptor to hit ICBMs during space flight. In this scenario, the F-35 would serve as a sensor or network node and not an actual attacker. The eight F-35s will bring something new to missile defense by potentially filling a needed niche or, at the very least, greatly complementing existing ground-based systems. Unlike offensive nuclear deterrents such as air, sea, and land weapons, the US's ICBM missile defense weapons are largely land-based. Ground-based interceptor, GBI, 
for example, is stationed at Fort Greeley, Alaska or Vandenberg AFB, CAF, will fire into space during the ICBM's mid-flight phase to intercept the strike missile.